Hello and welcome back fellow coders. Day 12, lesson 12. Now I just want to commend those of you that are submitting some amazing work. You guys are doing some really really amazing things. Now some of you wanted to know where this technology is actually used. If it's the real deal or it's just some kind of simulation. Well let me tell you this. This is HTML5 technology. Pretty much every website in the world is built on this and also a whole lot of apps. In fact, in, in my app company, so I own a company called Zender that does educational apps for kids. Every single one of our apps is built using this technology. Obviously, a more uh, advanced version of this technology using much more advanced features of this technology but it's still the same technology so you're in good hands here you're learning technology that's actually extremely valuable extremely useful and in this day and age when technology is moving at such an incredible pace every single career you can possibly think of is going to be affected by technology in some way I mean even if you think of something that that typically doesn't use or didn't use computer and, and, and uh, mobile technologies before, like agriculture, are now you know, using uh, technologies. So you're learning the cutting edge of technology and that is really, really awesome. Now today we're going to continue exploring div boxes and do some little more exciting things with them. And then you'll also see the semblance of your app starting to take shape from today. You'll see certain aspects of it taking shape. So let's get down to it and have some fun. Okay, we're going to start off today's lesson by going all the way to the top of the body tag. Hit enter a couple of times and we're going to add a new div in here. Open angle bracket div and we'll give it a class name equals header and close angle bracket. Now be careful, double check and triple check your spelling there. Hit enter a couple of times and we're going to put in some text inside there. The first thing we'll put in, let's hit uh, the, the tab button, we put in an H1 and this one will simply say quiz app. Below that we'll put in a paragraph which will be the subtitle. Okay so we've put in our div. Let's save this guy and go back to the browser. Back in the browser, refresh and there we have it. Quiz app, how smart are you? So this one, as you can see, has taken on the styling that we made for all our elements on our page. Same background color, same font, same font color. The next thing we're going to do is to give this section, this header section, its own unique styling. So when we talk styling, you know where we go. We go to our style sheets. Now in the style sheets, we're going to start by adding just below the body tag we'll add a uh, header remember it's a dot header now the first thing we're going to do is to give this guy a background color And the color we, that I've chosen for this one is hash 015. Remember, it's not the letter O, it's 01579B. Next, I give it a text align center. Now, without running this in the browser, can you guess what it does? It aligns your text to the center of the box. Simple. All right, save that. Back in the browser, refresh, and there we go. We've got the makings of our app. Now you, you'll notice that there's a gap around this box. Now we're gonna we're gonna remove those those gaps there. Now that is coming from the browser. What the browser does is 
that it gives everything a little gap by default, but we can remove that gap. So we're going to go not back to the header selector, but to the body selector. And then we're going to type this margin zero padding zero. Now what this does is it removes all unwanted gaps between elements. So all the margins and paddings are going to be zero. Now I'm going to explain to you what margins and paddings are shortly. But for now, let's just run this and you can see that it's completely gone. All those gaps are gone. Now, what exactly is a margin and what exactly is a padding? Now to understand that, you need to imagine that you are sitting down on a chair and next to you, there's another chair and there's another person sitting there. Now, the gap between yourself and that other person is known as the margin. So the greater the margin, the greater the gap between you and that person. Now, what is padding? Now, the padding is how, how much of space you occupy. So let's just say you're wearing a, it's a, it's a hot day and you're wearing a t-shirt. Now, the amount of space that you occupy around yourself is very thin. It's just the, the, the dimensions of your body plus the t-shirt. Now, let's assume it's a really cold day and you're wearing three or four different layers of clothing. And on top of that, a very puffy jacket. Now, immediately the amount of space that you occupy is gone bigger. And let's say you wrap yourself in a thick, furry blanket. Now you're gone even, you're taking up even more space. Now that space you're taking up is your padding. So there's your body, which is the core element, and the padding is all of the layers of clothing that you're putting on around you. So that's how you define margin and padding. Now in terms of, of our coding, the margin is the gap between one element and another. By element, I mean what? I mean an, an H1, and a paragraph and a div box. So the gaps between div boxes or paragraphs or, or margins or uh, I beg your pardon or headings are the margins. And how much of space each one occupies is its padding. So you can actually make them occupy more space than they normally do. So that's why we have these two concepts called margin and padding. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make this look like that using some style sheets. But unfortunately we are out of time for today and we'll have to continue this tomorrow. But what's really exciting is tomorrow you're going to get a better understanding of paddings and margins and how to use them. Awesome. See you then.